so he's probably gonna get Karak Eisor back. So, but again, we got it for the we got Karak Eisor for the uh, for the Wa before. Also, if these guys are high strength rank again, I could I could beset them with another Wa, but I need to get my I need to get my armies up and running before I do that. Cause you don't want to like set off a Wa without proper armies. Uh, oops. Um, this is a rough one because I don't really want to allow his iron breakers to throw explosives at me, but at the same time, my infantry can't really fight him on the wall either. The lads are ready. There. It's there. Yeah, I don't know. Goblins. It's a rough setup. Us ready. Night goblins. So try to limit his how much his forces can punch me in the face. Stickers ready. Or throw explosives at me by fighting him. Goblins. It's not great fighting him on the wall like this, but Let's if he moves up with the majority of his infantry, we can run our spider riders out there and destroy his uh destroy his artillery as well which would be good I'm the where's his leader at over here okay all right Let's see how good these towers are okay. towers are pretty towers are pretty crap ah, it's not gonna be enough i don't think no, never. Never, not even once. Drink the brew. Shoot down these freaking gyros. Crap out of my cab, apparently. We do it. Man. Still hasn't lost a model yet. There it goes. Forty-seven HP, man. It's gonna get away with forty with twenty-nine HP. Ugh, gracious. Still dumping explosives on me, but can't really do much about that. So I can't actually shoot down that guy. There's a leader jump. This leader jumped right over, so that's also kind of a curious thing to do. But all these gyrocopters are going to go away, going to get away with legit like zero HP. It's going to be very upsetting. Alright boys, let's go after that stuff. Running! Moving fast! There's the cave! Smash him up! Stick him! Kill him! Some more guys up the wall here to help out. Might be able to kill his artillery at least. That'd be nice. Less artillery he has, the better. 
He's throwing Moving explosives fast. at my trolls. That's actually not very effective, so it's fine if he wants to continue doing that. Oh my gosh. How do those iron breakers get to the Those iron breakers apparently were not considered to be in melee, and they just destroyed two of my units instantly by throwing some explosives. Lovely. Enemy leader's gonna die at this rate. So the trolls over here. We ain't gone. Oh, it's got that grudge thrown out. Drink the brew. Running, running, moving fast. Plunging fire these guys, I guess. Who can we stop? Let's have you chase after him. Oh, one of the gyrocopters is coming back. Watch HP. Is that the one with the... It's 95 HP? Okay. Interesting. Let's see if we can't kill it. Oh, there's actually two car two models here. There we go. Huzzah! All right, so that's at least it's one of those guys wiped out as well. I mean, anything, absolutely anything we could wipe out at this point is good. Tell those cannons. Right then. And right ammo. Sweet. Goblins! Get going! I'm sure what these guys are doing out here. Let's walk it back and forth like a bunch of dullards. Moving fast! Yeah, fine. Not really gonna get anything out of that. He's just gonna run away from me faster than I can run at him. Ouch, explosives. Okay. Did some damage anyway. Not too bad. Actually, I think we killed two groups of gyro bombers or gyrocopters and a grudge thrower, so that's good. Guy's name is Nobber. Or he's a guy. Guy's name was Nobber. Right, so they got Kara Geyser back, which is fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to capture this whole region back. Anger and famously gets along well with Queek. Always. Before you says anything, Gobbler ain't eating. I mean, the diplomatic landscape is super weird because I'm declared war on everyone, so obviously everyone is like, we should be friends because we all don't like that guy because he's at war with all of us. Which is why you see all these freaking minor factions all over the place. Like, going to war with everyone really messes up the political landscape. Because the AIs just don't fight each other like they should. So they just kind of all, like, stand around and, like, jerk each other off for turns and turns and turns. They don't really advance their civilization very much. The wildest thing happened? What was that? Also, apparently, all these guys just like to stand right next to Castle Burpenhof. <laughs> it's like a freaking minor empire faction convention going on over there. Yeah, 
yeah, you ain't, you ain't going nowhere. So I was playing, Gelden ended up pushing south out of boredom, and freaking Astalia was crushing it. Nice. I don't know if I want to do that, really. I don't feel like I have enough goblins to really support that sort of insanity. Considering how long the map is, like, it's gonna be, it would take forever for my, the rest of my guys to get there to support that. We'll do this, though. Chopper's ready! Oh, do, do, do. There we go. Whatever you say. Let go, Quonset. Wheel off. Wheel off. I'm gonna shut up. Excuse me. Ready. This is it. Have it. All right. Now well, we're just gonna get shot by artillery standing here, so... Well, I guess it... Actually, you know what? We'll go over here. Let's go over here and shoot the artillery, shall we? Seems like it'd be a pretty good move. So we can win some death, these assholes. They took out Mach and Ikit was shocked. Yeah, that's pretty rare. Usually Astalia just gets freaking steamrolled. Range of that. Wolf Riders! Let's crack! I know what to do. That down. Have a. As I. Destroy these guns. That guy's charge on in. Alright, hammers are... No, never mind. I was gonna say, the hammers are coming back to fight me, but then they changed their mind, so... Whatever, I guess. You guys are on that flank. Yeah, we can stop right about there, I guess. Oh, now they're, now they're in the way. Run! Run away! Run away! Go! You guys get up in there with some pump wagons up here. Stab it! Summon some duders here. Go that group of dudes. What are these? Hella overexposed on this flank. My guy's backing around here real quick. Right, where's the enemy leader at? Let's go land on top of him. Uh, the enemy's kind of interspersed, unfortunately, which makes it really difficult to cast. 
really difficult to cast anything. That's AoE anyway. Guess we can do that. We can buff people at least. It's just gonna be the slayers left now. Let's have this halt fire so it stops killing my own guys. There we go. There we go. So the second time I've seen a live with them without starting next to them. I've seen them win a couple of times, but yeah, it's pretty rare. Particularly in current patch, they get freaking crapped out by Ickit so often. Oh, it's Gotrick and Felix. They're back! I see. What the hell? <laughs> Guy likes poor boy biggins, that's for certain. He's only got like five actual units. Everything else is freaking poor boys. <laughs> so I think we can defend the walls here. More attackers ready! <laughs> Stop us ready! Pretty sure we can just stave these guys off on the walls and then by the doors. Put the archers down. Put the archers down over here as well. Not sure what side he's going to show up on here. Fanatics put him there. We is better than Ned. Thanks, Fanatics put him here. Night is here. Let's scrap. And then we just need to do this. Goblins! Scabbers ready! Scabbers ready! Yeah! Stickers ready! I need to cut this down a bit. Yeah. Goblins! Fanatics away! Cut it down to. Please, gobbles. Like that, I guess. So the reason I want them to come in further than normal is because uh, Snickers, my ready. fanatics aren't going to work. The lads are ready. My fanatics won't work if I'm really close to the door. Unfortunately. So if he breaks in, I need to make sure that he's Gonna kill him! in a position where we can throw an axe at him. <laughs> like so. Stop us ready. Goblins! Goblins! Alright, let's do it. Let's do it up. Oh yeah, I have actually good... Well, good for green skin towers. I like how he built enough siege towers for troops he doesn't have. <laughs> it's a mighty swell of him. Appears. He's not exactly sure where he wants to go. That's good for us. It's going to take a while for his boar boys to beat down the door, too. Boar boys are not particularly good at killing doors. Let's send some guys over here to help with this. Make sure we 
take down those big ones. Take our tower back now. Have that continue lighting things up. How's this door doing? 36%. One unit wiped out. Some big ones. Now yeah, I'll shoot these guys. They're closer. Now the question is, if he knocks down the door over here, is, it, is everything going to come this way? You bet. My assumption is yes. Gonna kill him. Probably going, to, probably going to plus this up over here. Yeah, he's not even trying to get through on this side. Right. Start moving this. Start moving this to the right. Because this is at 0%. He's not even making an attempt to get through this door. Oh, it's just his leader up there hitting it even. Interesting. Interesting. It's free shooting towers, right? I was like, who are these random ass Bretonians? <laughs> what the heck is this crap? Ninety percent. And the door's down. All right. Send the cab up over here. Send my trolls up over here. My cat, my cab equivalent to this point. What am I doing? What am I doing? For some more of these guys to get in here. Put these guys above the gate and see if we can't shoot down with them. Alright, you guys. I'm kind of concerned about throwing loons in here. So I kind of get the feeling they're going to bounce back in my face. Which would not really be good for me. Hey, if enough enemies get in here. Like, there's a good amount of enemies in here now. Maybe it's worth it. Be worth the risk. See what happens. Yeah. Well, ah, that wasn't too bad, but still, it bounced back into me. That worked well this now. Now he's actually engaging me with a good amount of guys. Shut this stuff up closer. His leader's just about dead. Or at least having issues. All right. Let's gonna speed this up. Make sure my leader doesn't run over there and commit suicide. How are we doing here? That doesn't look like we're getting shots down. Let's come over this side. And victory. All right. It's a bold strategy. Did not pay off for him. <sighs> Slowly moving one at a time, right? Let's 
Let's let those towers shoot him on the way out. Wish I could confederate Mash One Finger. He's so nice. I have to fight him. Well, fight him and then immediately afterwards just... Take him over. But unfortunately, he's Savage Orcs. Savage Orcs refuse to confederate. Because they're a bunch of rude dudes. That was... What the hell did I get there? <laughs> what item did I get? I'll have to check. Oh, terrifying mass TV. Cool. What is unthinkable? Yeah. This, is more this stuff finished constructing negatives. Or is I the greatest green skin? The great green prophet. He's currently dead at the moment. Is he back yet? I think it's one more turn. Yeah. One more turn on that. We should have... Alright, we got one more turn on like all of our dead freaking big bosses too. I'll have to get all that sorted out. Alright. So, it is an hour past uh, when I usually end. I just want to get a couple more turns in. I think we will call it here for the night. Okay, so we're getting stepped on by the doors a little bit. I remember that. So we're rebuilding a couple of armies. To get our stuff back together. How are we doing out here for construction? Send me to battle. Okay. Got all that stuff. Stone trolls. Your old goblin archers. Grab up them black orcs as well. Take a look over here. Those guys are hanging out there. What happened? What happened? Good question. Good dang question there, buddy. Uh, sure. What a point in conviction. Steals more tech. And we got this stuff going on up here, which I'm not overly shocked by. We got a bunch of stuff no. happening over here too. I will not obey. Just Sigma. Interesting. I refuse. I just roll up there and smack that army real quick. Absolutely not. Let's go for an army block on these guys. Yes. Mr. Carl Franz, that is your real name. Mr. Stabby. Let's kind of keep our peepers peep for any nonsense occurring over here. Just go. Just go. What's this? I'll ignore that. Army block that. Try to anyway. Your device. Go. Nice. Need stabbing. Not likely. And we got this stuff going on. But these guys are getting. These guys are getting pretty nuked out by us just assaulting them over and over again. If we can keep these guys army blocked. No, you failed. Doing okay. All right, we cleared those guys out. Level 40 on him. Oh, 
Let's see here. Let's go for the army block on Balthazar. Mr. Gelt. Um... Let's walk up to here and drop an ambush dance. With them. How long until I got people coming back that are important? I think it's next turn. I got a bunch of people coming back. This guy, who is my... Zag's coming back. Racknick is back already. Okay. We'll wait a turn and we'll pop Racknick back up as well. Oh, nice. Actually, level that up. Plus 20. Well, this is maxed out that plus 20 leadership for Goblin and Night Goblin units. It's pretty darn solid, because, like, our goblin leadership is already pretty good. Like, these guys, like, I'll give them over 100, or give them close to 100 leadership. Which is pretty good. Also, we got this going on. No. Not likely. These guys are allied with the Empire. Don't waste my time with petty talk. They Make are. your offer okay. and all right, so Eben over there is going to help them out. Stop that! Stop. Unfortunately, I can't get down to Fort Saul here this turn. Direct eye contact for Thomas. <laughs> you gulk. You gulk. You what? All right, so I think what we're going to do here is we'll just work this army back down this way to assist this army out. We'll do that. Who needs killing? Let's see how much scrap do we got? 91 jagged weapons, infantry, weapon strength. Let's just do the weapon strength. Alright. What? And then we're just gonna roll up here and killing time! a lot of freaking nonsense. All those outriders or grenade launchers and shit. Like, this is just gonna be me chasing people around. Because seriously, his entire army is just, like, <laughs> grenade launchers and tricking handgunners and shit. Mikhail Bebchuk. Moon. You've been staring at the bad moon. Freaking probably just blitz these spiders at them here. Put that on two. Shotless ready! That's on one. <laughs> Three. Trolls, please. All right, cool. There we go. <laughs> Those guys chase people around. And then this guy can just stand here and chuck shit at people, obviously. Sweet compass. Go, go, go. The guys up to about there. Him just start chucking things at people. Squeak cobblers, running. Yeah, the grenade launchers are gonna be moving fast. Annoying for certain. Giant spiders try to chase down those guys. Oh, the pistoliers, I don't care about quite as much. 
Simon. Spiders aren't going to take a bit of damage here, obviously. Well, I was charging the grenade launchers, but caught the other guys first, so I guess that works. Getting these guys on. Be leaders here and stuff. Handgunners are getting shredded already. Throw down an itchy nuisance there. Show us the enemy. Show us the enemy. You guys walk forward faster. Go forward faster. Get on top of these mortars over here and take them out. Rip the leader apart. Get on top of those mortars as well. Giant spider just standing there, not doing anything. Cool. That's neat. Now we can chase those guys down, I guess. Push my range units up here as well. Yeah, we just need to see it chase people down until the morale breaks, essentially, is what we gotta do here. And we already have a lot of people's morale just doing just that. Let me get this kind of berserk. There we go. Yeah, Rampage ran into me, buddy. That'd be great, I promise you. Pushing these guys up. I need grenade launchers though, man. Thankfully they don't have like really high armor piercing on the grenades, so. Don't ever worry about that quite as much. Them with that. There we go. We just need to, Ready to mess up enough people that their morale breaks. If their leader goes down too, obviously that's going to be. Yes. That we might break it? everyone. Uh, no, not quite. Run it. Chuck stuff over there. You guys back this way. Everybody else is pretty much dealt with over here, though, right? Is this enemy, is this leader still? Okay, he's not completely chased off yet. Yeah, he'll be off the board here shortly, though. Just gonna speed this up. There we go. Freaking annoying. Reminds me of the old, uh, like, Norskin armies of uh, Marauder horsemen or whatever. Where the entire army is just broader horsemen. And you're like, please no why. I don't like it. You want schemes? I got schemes. Skarsnick! Skarsnick. Let's get in on this guy then. Take out these freaking weirdo outrider gunner army things that are running around here. Dimitri. Oh, this is actually his faction later, too. Not that we really need the winds of magic for anything, honestly. What we doing? Black is the new gray. No one shot. <laughs> 
You go here. Squeak coppers. Where's the scrap? Squeak Push you guys up to there. No you start chucking stuff at people. Ready. Throw it on some increased stability. Let's scrap. Let's do this. Let's do I this. You know what's worse than freaking office building sized spiders? Invisible office building sized spiders. Just saying. Sweet compass. Suddenly spiders. I was hiding. All right. Uh, just stab it over there. You're the killer. Let's fight. Stab him. Stab him. Stab him. Them up. Gork will fix it. Oh, yeah, Gork will fix it is actually an AoE. That's. It's pretty nice. So it actually. Slows people in an AoE. Good for catching Cav. For sure. Catching Cav and other retreating things. Shoot some of that nonsense out there. A giant Spadooter is just catching all kinds of hell right now. All these freaking Outriders. Because they just happen to be on the correct angle. Yeah. We'll fix it out there. The fight. Suddenly slow. Can die already. There we go. There we go. Very great glitch if you defeat this leader of the faction, you're given the option to confed, right? Just confederate with Kizzle real quick. My one spider over here just took a lot of lot of fire from these guys. Stop staggering them. Yeah, back it up, use. I'm walking here. You want schemes? I got schemes. I'll jump in there real quick. No. Supreme ruler of eight cakes. Quite great. Get back down to Kragmere this turn. Sounds like a good idea. My brother's ready. Now for some reason I get the feeling that these guys are going to walk down there and sack it again. Because that's just what people do. They just sack Kragmere over and over again. Do I got a guy here? Can... What do you Maybe want? I can already block this. Talk once, mate. Of course we failed. Because that city will never get upgraded ever. Power. 
Never, ever, ever. Alright. Despair involves fighting. Now we could go over to Granite Massif and Kara. We might want to do that, honestly. So we don't end up with. So we don't have lizard men behind us. Might be. Might be a good plan. What's this guy doing? Oh, yeah. Just assaulting these people. They're trying to attack my city. Stop. Please. I will not obey. No, that stuff is actually all that scary, to be honest. They've been scuffed up pretty bad. Dogs well. It's God's bag at. What's he doing? Get going. Just kind of keeping those guys on the outside there in check as best he can. I will not obey. Couple rocket batteries. How many settlements do you have left? He has like two left or something. A face such as yours. Yeah, two. And I think they're both minor settlements at this point. Yeah, he's got Wizenberg and Fester Spike. So he's pretty. He's pretty scuffed. He's not gonna be able to do too much. Which is good for us, obviously. All right. One less faction. Before you says anything, Gobbler ain't eating today. What about Croc? Peace treaty? Nope, can't have it. Never, not even once. It'd be nice to have one more army down here too. Honestly, it'd be nice to have like. Three more armies. Oh, hey, Aka Claw. What up? Mm, the guys are like I said. Having these guys up here is actually fine, because that pulls. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that pulls away units from my actual armies, where I care about where people are going. Well, we're going to try to defend this as best we can because we need to try to take the starch out of the dwarves. Even though they have way too much stuff to for us to possibly win. We just need to try to do damage to stuff. <laughs> 